Hi everyone, this is an update on my Bedini modifier. This is the motor here. Four coil monopole rotor with all north poles of the magnets facing out, double stack neodymium magnets. Rare earth magnets is my primary battery, and here is my charging battery. The two silver coils are both bifilar meaning that they have two wires wrapped around them and the golden and red coils are single windings they use steel nails in the, these three cores um, and this coil has recently had a core made from welding rods which is pretty good um, so these two coils and this bifilar coil are all collection coils. This is the primary drive coil, the normal bifilar, with all my Bedini circuitry here, as well as my own uh, collection circuitry, if you will. So I'd like to show you uh, the adaptions I've made um, and what they're for. Okay. So really quickly, I'm gonna close the webcam thing down and. This is my. This should be my current circuit diagram. So you may wish to uh, pause at this point and have a good look around. I have the rotor in the middle, and you can see on the left the collection coil above the bifilar collection coil, and on the right hand side a collection coil, and they're all linked to bridge rectifiers. The bottom part of the circuit see all the circuitry on the bottom, that's Bedini circuitry and then what you find there is my is my collection circuitry which is actually quite simple but my latest update is a voltage regulator just inserted there which is working out quite strange but it's a 12 volt voltage regulator which I'll show you now is my latest um, addition so there was a good look at the circuit diagram. So now, because this is a bifilar wound coil, I now feed one side of this series into this coil here, which then goes into a bridge rectifier here. So I collect um, one side of it, tie it in with this one in a series, and then the same for the other side of this bifilar coil into the next single winding coil series quite a weird way of um, I've been working out different ways of attaching it to get better um, power out of it I say power I mean volts and amps because you can get as many volts as you want but if you haven't got the amps you can't drive anything useful for a long period of time so uh, another on the other side as well there's a bridge rectifier here which feeds background and into the cap bank which is um, parallel to 63 volt 2200 microfarad capacitors just in there and you can see they're on the same row of the breadboard as this rectifier okay so then um, I feed that out using these two wires into the base of what looks like a transistor here uh, but it's not it's just the way to configure that term, a voltage regulator. So there's voltage in on one side, uh, common negative or ground on the middle, and positive, you know, output voltage on the other side. Um, posit when I said positive, then it's not the correct term to use, as you can get both positive and negative voltage uh, regulators. I always forget that one. Yeah, too used to saying bridge rectifier but yeah um, I'm still using my 500 ohm pot the little one there as you can see pretty good in fact very good just don't disconnect your second battery because they're delicate and you'll you'll pop them but yeah the but having a common negative on the uh, regulator here means it's just common negative to the cat bank so it regulates on the positive side in other words, so it feeds positive voltage round Ooh feeds positive voltage around and 12 volts gets through. 
it was my intention to feed that 12.1 volts constantly in, into the primary which is not as good as, as dumping huge um, you know letting the cat bank build up and just sparking it across because you, you lose loads there but it wasn't my primary intention to, to feed it back I was actually after getting a uh, nice 12 volt source stable 12 volt source to use to drive something use you know uh, a bulb or a motor or anything um, currently I'm not getting enough I'm getting 12 volts constantly but there's not enough amp to it to really drive anything that I would like you know ideally I'd like to be able to uh, power a lamp like the one that's above the bedini oh and just up there there's some of my meters as well left is amps right is well it will be collection battery uh, the secondary battery voltage and there's another one just there so I still need to get analog meters but this is this is where I am at the minute but my next intention is to increase the amount of coils, double the amount of coils on the outside um, and that should allow me to increase the amount of amps I'm using right I'm going to try and uh, sit the camera still for a bit oh that feels better doesn't it <laughs> you stop being, sorry you stop feeling sick now right. we'll start this bad boy up so I'm just going to move the light source still going to do some work on the bearings collection for a bit and let it get up to speed because you know as, as we all know having a voltage regulator in there will act as a, um, a load so it will slow me down so I'll allow it to get up to speed Make some adjustments to the pot. Um, just going to do a quick analysis on what I'm getting into the caps. At the minute. See the the cap bank's already up to 41, 42 volts using 325 milliamps. It's not actually running as fast as it should be doing. Maybe if I can give it a little accelerate that might help it. So this constant um, extraction using the 12 volt regulator I'll now attach it. And that's now constantly feeding 12.1 volts into the primary, as well as the collection we're getting into the secondary. And there's still a significant amount of torque in the motor. So that this is where I am. If anyone's got any comments or questions, you know, I'm more than happy to answer them and to hear from anybody who's got any ideas. I'm still looking for help with getting more amps. So if anybody knows how to wind the coils to get more amps, that would be uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Thanks very much for watching. Um, Stay tuned for the next update. Bye for now.